In the last episode, I showed you how to import, rig, and animate using IK. In this video, I'll go over the experimental sprite swap feature to truly boost your 2D development productivity. All right, let's get sprite swapping. Head back into your sprite editor and click the skinning editor. We'll begin by adding categories for the sprites. These must be unique, but can be reused across multiple sprites. For example, we only need one head category, which can be used across both the Orc and Bandit. While you sit there watching me frantically type, be useful and hit the subscribe button. Now we need to assign labels to the sprites. These will be the same unit wide. For example, I'll label all of my bandit pieces bandit and all of my orc pieces orc. Apply your changes and exit the editor. As you can see, Unity has removed all duplicates of each category, leaving just one of each. This is a bit of a weird byproduct, but it makes sense in a weird way. It would be nice if it removed the empty folders and put them in a generically named folder, but oh well. You can now click your sprites and change them using the sprite resolver. To change the sprites at runtime, create a new c script called Outfitter, or whatever tickles your pickle. In a wake, we'll grab all of the child sprite resolvers. I'll set up a unit type enum and switch the current type when we press spacebar. To change the outfit, we'll loop our resolvers and change the label currently being shown to the new unit type. Take note, the unit type enum names match the category names I set earlier in the skinning editor. Attach the script to the unit and then hit play. We can now toggle between our bandit and orc labels. You'll obviously require more advanced swap logic in your game, but you get the point. But what if one of your units has an additional sprite, like a helmet for my orc? This will create a weird result when changing to a unit without that category. This can be easily fixed by checking if a label exists for the category. If not, disable the object. Fantastic! You now have an incredibly flexible 2D workflow for your game. Thank me by subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.